All right, so what have we learned so far today? Looks can be deceiving. The water looked incredibly calm. And as I got out here, it might be the most turbulent it's been. Maybe ever since I've been on here. Hey guys, welcome to the new studio. Um, so it's in progress. What I did is took my kitchen and went ahead and painted the wall with a chalk wall. So my thought is here, I can do it for reviews. I can write stuff on the wall. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and review the aisle stand-up paddleboard. Hope you guys enjoy it. We're up here pretty early at 6.30. Hopefully see some cool stuff. After that, we'll go ahead and do a quick review. It's been a tough learning curve to go ahead and get up on the water in the ocean, but I think we're finally there after a few months and I'll bring the GoPro along. We'll get some shots. Uh, and I got up early enough, we should see the sunrise too. <laughs> cool things here. It's sunrise right now, so that's beautiful. You can kind of see Santa Monica up here behind me. Um, and then off to the left, shimmy around. You'll see Venice over to my left here, the beautiful sunrise above it. I don't think we're gonna see dolphins, unfortunately, but you never know, I've been surprised before. <laughs> Be a little brave this morning and go ahead and show you guys the view we're seeing. Santa Monica, all the way to Venice, beautiful sunrise, down to Marina del Rey. And then poor little old me in the middle of the ocean. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera now for a second. We're back. That was uh, very turbulent today. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of these wet clothes and then we'll do a quick review and overview of the aisle stand-up paddleboard I took out today. All right, so let's kick off the review portion of this video. Unfortunately, nowhere around Venice, at least where I live, carries chalk readily available. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk verbally about the video today. I think we learned a few things today. Uh, let me start by saying this review is in no way sponsored or affiliated with Isle. I found them online. I'm a huge fan of Santa Monica and of San Diego. I found this company while doing some research online and I really fell in love with their paddle boards. Uh, I have both the Isle Glider Wood paddle board and the Isle Explorer Inflatable. Today we were on the Glider Wood paddle board, which is really my go-to personal preference. I've heard a lot of great things about the inflatable boards as well. They're very durable. You do get a few dings with the uh, wood paddleboard, but as long as you treat it relatively, you know, 
don't drop it on the ground, uh, don't hit it against things. It's really held up well for me. It took me about one to two months to go ahead and learn how to stand up on the ocean. You'll see in the video, I kind of screwed up. One of my first times using the GoPro, it's also the GoPro session, so you really don't have any type of screen or reference point as to what's in frame. So a lot of it's gonna be either, uh, you know, me getting up on the water or uh, it's gonna be cropped, unfortunately. We'll fix that next time. It was a good learning session, but I think we got some great shots. The board I have is 10 feet, 10 inches. For me, it seems like the sweet spot for something to go on the ocean with. Uh, it's not too big to where it's cumbersome. I can still walk, you know, five or six blocks to the beach to get it on the water myself. I love the handle that it has built in. You'll see me carrying it. It's a 25 pound board. For me, it's pretty manageable. The company itself, they had great shipping. It arrived right away. It was in one of the biggest boxes I think I've ever seen when it arrived, but it was very well protected. It has a great carbon fiber paddle that comes with it. Today, the break was pretty easy, so it was nice to kind of get past that. However, when I got out there, I realized even though the water looked pretty smooth, it was really, really turbulent today. So we stuck it out for a while. We saw a nice sunrise. We saw Santa Monica, Venice as well. I think you'll get a good overview of the board. You'll see how easy it is to use, how well built it is. It's an attractive board as well. Let me just say, I kind of prefer, again, that type of board over something inflatable. The inflatables are maybe a little lighter, but when you're going out into the break like that, especially in the ocean, getting past those initial waves, as you could see, can be a little difficult. So really having something heavier, you can lean forward into the waves to get across them. It's a lot easier from my perspective to use. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the future. Do you wanna see reviews of the GoPro session? Do you wanna see more lens reviews? Do you wanna see a review of the inflatable stand-up paddleboard? Uh, maybe you wanna see, you've noticed I've been wearing the Garmin Phoenix 5X Plus. Maybe you wanna see a review of that as well. Love all these things, more than happy to review them. Go ahead and leave comments. Please subscribe and uh, see you next time.